Hi friends, welcome back. So the Tesla numbers are out and frankly, they're not good. So <laughs> I gotta go over this stuff with you guys. I wanna show you that what's going on and uh, let's jump right in. So first, Tesla stock is down a year to date about 33%. Again, not good. Uh, if you bought Tesla at the peak, you've lost about 60% of your money. Again, not good. And I understand if you've lost money in this thing, you're angry, you're upset, you want your money to come back, but it's hard to do that if you're not selling cars. Uh, I wanna show you guys the headlines, go over these things and uh, share my thoughts and I wanna get yours as well. So first headline, uh, Tesla stock slumps as delivery numbers miss the mark by a wide margin. Eey, again, not so good. Uh, headline, Tesla reports first negative quarterly delivery growth since 2020. Again, not so good. Headline, Tesla shares fall after deliveries drop 8.5% from a year ago. Again, not so good, guys. And uh, Tesla sales fall short of estimates in first drop since 2020. Uh, take a look at this. This is actually a really interesting one. Um, analysts had expected a bad quarter. Elon even, you know, said, guys, we're probably not going to do so great. Get ready. And so they actually lowered their estimates. This is the analyst. And it turns out that Tesla even missed the lowered bar. In fact, uh, they missed by 14%. Again, not so good. And I think this might be the biggest miss uh, that they've ever done. So they had a big miss back here, but even more so now. Again, not so good. And I understand um, if you've been watching Tesla Pumper TV, they tell you that Tesla is going to go like a hockey stick. It's going to go up. Everything's going to be awesome. We're all going to be rich, etc. cetera. Uh, but now our deliveries are going down. And um, we've actually heard about this stuff before. Uh, these were the headlines a couple weeks ago. I tried to warn you about this stuff. This was the headline. Tesla stock tumbles as Wolf's Fogger Analysis calls it a growth company with no growth. Eee, again, not so good. We also had headlines before. Uh, Elon Musk talks Tesla, quote, we dug our own grave with the Cybertruck. <laughs> again, not so good. So I have to show you all this stuff because um, if you watch Pumperland TV and talking about the Tesla pumpers, they basically just lie to you every day and tell you that everything's gonna be awesome, Elon Musk is a genius, and you're all gonna be rich. Um, it's really sad though, because frankly, uh, hey, Elon should be focused on Tesla, but he's not. Do you know what he's talking about? I'll show you. Um, this is actually six hours ago over on his Twitter slash X. He's kind of making fun of Native Americans. If you don't believe me, this is what he wrote. He says, this is Tesla, uh, CEO Elon Musk. He's saying, we live on stolen land. By we, I mean us mammals. We stole it from the dinosaurs. And if you guys understand kind of like what he's talking about here and put it in context, he's kind of making fun of Native Americans, you know, because the, the concept is that, I'm sure you know this, anyone who knows American history, the Europeans came, there were Native Americans living there, and then suddenly now the Native Americans have a lot less land than before. And uh, many people have said that it's stolen by the early settlers. So you guys can be the judge of uh, whether or not what Elon Musk is saying is appropriate. You can be a judge of that. Moreover, Elon Musk was making jokes about uh, being the DEI uh, chief over at Disney again. This is what Elon Musk is tweeting when Tesla sales are falling and uh, deliveries are down. So um, I am, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I mean, I, you know, I, I show you guys this all the time and, and I try to tell you the truth of this stuff and I understand the uh, Tesla pumpers are going to probably tell you some cocky meanie story about how like we're all going to be buying flying cars and they're going to tell you that you know we're going to be a buying a billion robots and they're going to tell you that the $25,000 car is going to sell another billion they're also probably going to tell you that FSD is going to be here tomorrow the same sort of song and dance and the question I pose to you and this is for anyone out there with um, how can I say um, how about this we'll, we'll, we'll keep it nice um, Anyone with, you know, some questions about why are you losing 60% of your money? Um, just ask yourself, like, how long are you going to play this game? How long are you going to believe uh, in these sort of things that don't happen to be true, right? Meaning that, for example, when someone says, hey, uh, we're going to sell a billion robots and uh, they keep telling you that, but I, you're looking and you're like, um, I'm not seeing the numbers. <laughs> or when they tell you, the pumpers tell you, hey, guys, you know, Tesla's going to grow forever and uh, everything's gonna be awesome forever. And uh, in fact, you're just not seeing the numbers. And um, you know, part of the, the, the game that's played, and this is part of what's happening on YouTube, is people you know, essentially push this fallacy that if it happened in the past, it's gonna happen again, right? That's not necessarily true. Um, before, when Tesla was you know, the new kid on the block, I've told you guys this before, they made one car, right? Awesome. 
On the next year, maybe they make two cars. You double your sales. Again, awesome. The next year, you make, you know, go from two cars, you go to four cars. You double your sales. Oh, my God. Awesome, right? And then after that, you're making four cars and you make eight cars. Again, you double your sales. Awesome. The problem is, is that when your, you know, amount of vehicles that you're producing and delivering go up, like, you know, exponentially, uh, there gets to be a point where you can't do that anymore. When you get to be like, you know, a million cars, something to go from one million to two million, not so easy anymore. And then two million to four million, again, not so easy. Yes, from one to two, right, you can do it. From two to four, you can do it. Hey, 10, 10 cars to 20 cars, you can do it. Even from like a thousand uh, to 2,000, yeah, sure. Even from 2,000 to 30,000, yeah, hey, guys, massive growth. But when you get to be like a mature company that Tesla is, the growth just isn't there anymore. Moreover, the competition is catching up or in some cases with BYD has passed Tesla. And I understand the pumpers are gonna tell you that Elon Musk is a genius, that you're gonna all be rich, etc. But the only people who are getting rich from telling you these lies are the people basically pumping you lies every day and Elon Musk trying to sell you a bunch of crap. Um, FSD is not here. Uh, the deliveries are going down. They're facing more competition. You're in a high interest rate environment. Also, too, Tesla values have been going down. Um, you're pissing off a lot of people in the used car market. Uh, the other thing, too, with the deliveries, they did not st uh, specify how many Cybertrucks they sold. Uh, yes, I understand the Cybertruck is fun. It it's cool to look at, I guess, for people who are into this thing. But, like, does it really affect the bottom line? Probably not. They may even be losing money on said thing. Um, this is something that, you know, when Elon Musk is saying, hey, we dug our own grave, he's even telling you what's going on with this stuff. So, you know, for me, I'm not surprised about this Tesla stuff. I've warned you guys about this for a long time. Uh, you can take a look at the valuation grades. I've showed you guys this stuff before, but I'll show you again for people who haven't seen it. Um, basically, just of it, yes, Tesla's a profitable company, sure. Uh, Tesla sells cars and they make money, sure. But are they going to keep growing at insane rates in the future? It's not looking like it, right? Uh, the valuation also too has been overvalued for a long time because you've been pricing this thing to perfection meaning that you're, you're assuming that like nothing's going to go bad and like there's no other car company in the whole world and, and you're just going to grow by crazy amounts like every single year forever and you're also like pricing into elon musk is is gonna you know never age never leave tesla <laughs> etc i always tell you guys these kind of things like elon musk is 52 i i think he's on his way out you know how soon who knows um, that actually may or may not be a good thing for Tesla. I'll let you be this, this, the, the decider on that one. But, you know, we've talked about this stuff before in, in the past. And it, it's sad because, like, when, when, I, when I read through comments of the pumpers and stuff like that, I'm just like, they live in some weird alternative reality. You know, when they see these headlines, they'll probably come up with some sort of weird thing of like, oh, you know what? This is a good time to buy because, like, you know, delivery is going down. The stock is weak. I'm just going to buy more. The thing is, like, when people write that stuff in comments, it could just be all BS. You have no idea whether or not they're actually buying the stuff. They could just be trying to pump it up to get you to, to buy it so that they can sell it to, you know, to you. Like, they want to get out. But, you know, the problem is, is that you're down 60% of your money, um, and that's going to be a long time coming back. And it's, it's tough to tell you the truth about these things because, like, because I, I get it, guys. I, I get it. It's a stock market. I, I can see, you know, people put money in this stuff. People get emotional on this stuff. But... Um, I, I, you know, warned you about this stuff for a long time that, that it's likely going to happen. And uh, honestly, I didn't even think it would be this bad, um, you know, down eight and a half percent by a year ago, missing your uh, Wall Street estimates by 40 percent. Again, not good. And then now Elon Musk is like, you know, tweeting out stuff regarding, you know, Native American kind of things. Not great. And making fun of, you know, this stuff. And, and you know, uh, what can I say? I'll, I'll, I'll just do this. Let me play a clip from you uh, from Elon Musk and his brother. Uh, regarding uh, immigration you can hear it for yourself and i just want you to kind of see how these people talk uh, when their guard is down and uh, essentially telling you the truth for the first time um, have a listen and uh, i'll catch you next video you see these numbers every day but for us to hear we'll give you three million dollars yeah for... it sounded extremely we thought they were crazy like I why mean, would they was, do that mm. it was literally like <laughs> these people are insane they obviously do not realize we're sleeping in the office. <laughs> in fact, when they, when they did fund us, yeah. they, they realized that we were illegal immigrants. Well, I'm yes, we were. I'd we say were. it was a gray area. Yeah, <laughs> yes, we were. I was, I was, we were illegal immigrants. We were sleeping in the office. We didn't have a car. We had one car, but the wheel kept falling off. But, well, actually, yeah. The, the, the wheel.